morning. Today our class is about the transition probabilities. Transition probabilities are conditional probabilities describing probability behavior associated with transition of the system. That is m n is equal to probability of x n equal to j one x m equal to i is n Here we have n minus m steps. If the transition probabilities p i j m n depends only on the state i and j and the time difference n minus m irrespective of the particular time points n and m then the chain is called a marco chain with a stationary transition probabilities or a homogeneous marco chain otherwise if p i j m n depends on i j m and n then the chain is called a marco chain with non stationary transition probability or non homogeneous marco chain it may be noted that the random walk or the gambles ruin problem etc are the classical example of examples of markov chain with stationary probabilities also not that p i j m is equal to probability of x n plus m is equal to j given x n equal to i that is we have m step is here the difference is m and also p i j n is equal to probability of x n equal to j given x not equal to i here also the difference is m and is equal to probability of x m plus n equal to j given x sum equal to i and so on or p i j 1 is equal to p i j and that is equal to probability of x 1 equal to j given x not equal to i and that is equal to probability of x n plus 1 equal to j given x n equal to i. Okay, next we have to consider transition metrics. The transition probabilities p i p j k satisfies p j k greater than or equal to 0 and sigma over k P J K equal to one for all J. These probabilities may be written in the matrix form. P is equal to P one one, P one two, P one three, etc. P two one, P two two, P two three, etc. etc. Okay. This is called a transition probability matrix or matrix of transition probabilities GPM of the Markov chain. P is a stochastic matrix that is a square matrix with non-negative elements and the unit rows. Thank you.